Ayo, hey keep it high, keep it tight, it's Jay Morser, review guy, back to bring you another video. This was an idea I had about a week ago, and today my throat was a little sore, and I wanted to make a video, but I didn't want to, like, make a full-on track review or album review, although one may be coming up later that I have, I just need to edit. Uh, but I wanted to go through my analytics with you guys, and if you don't know, analytics on YouTube basically just tells you everything there is to know about your channel, the type of people that watch them, the countries they watch them from, genders, uh, each month, it just, it, they do everything, and I just thought it'd be full, fun to go through them, uh, we're obviously not gonna go through every single thing, cause there's a lot, and some aren't really, they don't really mean that much, so I was like, hey, let's go ahead and do that, so... Uh, right off the bat, I have it on Lifetime. So, overall, I have, wow, 30 days and 20 hours of watch minutes. 44,425. That's pretty, that's a lot of, like, minutes people have decided to watch my videos. So, thank you guys for that. I appreciate that a lot. That's kind of insane, that number. Uh, average view duration, a minute, 45 seconds. That's pretty cool, considering the fact that a lot of my videos range in about the, um, like, five to ten minutes. That means that it's holding people for quite a bit, and, it, and it's actually, uh, it's went up over time. So, it, it recently, it's been up, and that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, wow. 25,352 views. That's pretty neat. 1,910 likes. Like, when I'm looking at these numbers, it's hard. That's a pretty good like-to-dislike ratio for it to be 116 to uh, 1,910. That's pretty neat. Um, when I'm looking at these numbers, it just kind of baffles me because it's just really insane for me to think about, you know... Uh, oh, and by the way, the blank spots where it's, like, little to no views... Uh, if you guys didn't know, I started the account back in 2016, but I didn't upload until early 2018, and I didn't really do many videos back then, so that's what kind of started to spark up over time. Uh, 2,273 comments. Hopefully, I've replied and liked each one of them. Uh, 58 shares, 248 videos and playlists, although I would think that a lot of those are probably my uh, my playlists. Um 1,304 subscribers, that's not accurate. I have 1,310, that says 1,304. Uh, my top 10 videos. All right, so my top 10 videos, uh, I guess this means watch time minutes. My Walking Dead Season 9 death predictions, my uh, XXX Tentacion news videos, both of those got on there. Andrew Lincoln leaving The Walking Dead. Track review for Era Disarray, that's actually pretty neat. I'm surprised that would be up there. That's a fairly recent video, in fact. For for that to be there, that I just uploaded that like uh, that's fairly recent because they released that. Where when was that? Let me see if I can find that. Uh, da -da -da. It was this right here. So that was just one month ago. So that's pretty cool that it it got big. Yeah, that that actually did do really well view wise. That that really did well view wise. Uh, don't know why that track review in particular did. I think it was just because it was um, also did one for breach. Um, uh, that's the lowest score I've ever given an album. That's the ghost review that I did for their album prequel. Prequel. Uh, it should be right here. That 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 didn't do very well in terms of like dislike ratio. And to be honest, I don't really blame um I don't really blame the people because I've re-listened to the album. It's not necessarily as bad as I made it out to be. It just wasn't for me. And I wasn't a big fan of that album in particular. Um, that album just, for whatever reason, I thought it didn't feel as good as Meliora to me. It didn't feel like Ghost was doing as good as they could. And I know that a lot of people really disagreed with that opinion. And I kind of stick with that. It's not as bad as I made it out to be, but I still stick with the fact that that album to me is kind of weak in my opinion. And I respect the fact that other people think it's a really good album. And I, uh, have no trouble saying that they have talent. I just don't think they play to a lot of their strengths. Uh, Q&A live stream and shout outs. Now, which one was that? That's one from April. Uh, pretty cool. Wow. People really like that. I, I've, I, I still kind of want to go back and do more Q&A live streams. It's just I don't have much of the time because I'm doing all the other videos. Uh, tips for Doom Doomfist players. Wow. One of the Overwatch guides actually uh, did really well. When would that have been? That would have been down here a bit. It was the last one that I did like semi-recently. Uh, let me see if I can find it. We'll look at the views of that. Hmm. I literally, I'm having trouble remembering when I made that specific one, because for a while I was, I was making, there it is, 
113 views. That's pretty cool. Wow, I did not know that that one did very good. I'm surprised because the other the other Overwatch guides, um, they did pretty good. Like the Faro one has 82, Junkrat 61, uh, Diva 25. Let's see. Uh, Roadhog got 84. That one was a good one. Um, yeah, I was, I'm genuinely surprised that that did well. I, that's another series I eventually want to go back to and kind of finish up. I've just once again been preoccupied by a lot of stuff. Um, let's see, five ways to make gold in World of Warcraft 7.3.5. Well, that's going to be dated now considering it's 8.0.1. That was one of, wow, that's one of my first videos. That's way, way back. Let me see, that, that's like, that's this, that's four months ago. Wow, that's a long, long time ago. I'm surprised by that. Um, and then winning all placement, winning all ten placement games Overwatch season ten. Yeah, that that one was um, that still has me a bit ticked off because there is a bit of a story behind this. So I streamed on uh, April thirtieth. I played pretty much all night and did all of my placement games for season ten. And I won all ten of them and got just a little bit more than like the last one that I got. It's kind of it's kind of funny. Um, but I, I'm still playing Overwatch competitive. I just don't really stream it anymore because I don't know. I get. I think after a while it gets kind of boring for our viewers if you're not like the top tier, top 500 players. So yeah, and then we go to uh, top geography. So watch time. My top five. Uh, 64 percent of my viewers are from the United States. 8.7 are from the United Kingdom. 4% are from Canada, 2.8% is from Australia, and 1.7% is from Germany. Wow, that's pretty cool. And if we click it, we can actually see some of the geography for uh, different like areas. Uh, I think you can, if I remember right, yeah, you can. Um, I wonder if you can click specific places and see where you're like most popular at. If that's okay, okay. So we have a lot of wow. A lot of people seem to like me in Texas. Uh, ha wow, there's people that have watched me in every single state. Um, have a lot of watch time in Oregon and California. California's and California and Texas are killing it. Uh, and Florida, and Florida, doing a lot in Illinois, New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia. So, I, ooh, Maryland, 547. New Jersey, 758. Uh, Kentucky, 506. Virginia, 608. Wow, North Carolina, I it seems like I'm doing really good in like my neck of the woods. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm from West Virginia, so it evidently, like, if you haven't noticed, there is some good stuff over here, but it looks like a lot of, like, my main playing ground, funny enough, is around where I am, which is kind of funny. Um, I guess that makes sense. I mean, maybe it's, like, the way I talk. Maybe that's a thing. Uh, Delaware is doing pretty good. Uh, let's see, Rhode Island. Nice. That's pretty cool. Um... California and Texas are killing it, though. Like, that's kind of two strange places for me to have so many viewers. I guess it's because of population, but still, like, considering how, like, a lot of the middle states don't have much viewership, it's kind of surprising to me that, like, so many people, and New York, New York, too. Um, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Pennsylvania is doing really good, too. So we'll go back. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Let's do the United Kingdom, see if I got any people from, like, uh, ooh, okay. Wow. That's a lot of time. That's a lot. I, was, I wasn't sure if they were going to uh, split it up by, like, Scotland, Wales, Ireland. But uh, it's kind of cool that they, uh, they have that at all. Let's see. Uh, Germany. Let's see what... We're in Germany. Oh, uh, okay. So they're not splitting it up for anywhere but the United States, it looks like. Uh, but still, that's pretty cool. Looks like I got so... Such a... Wow. This is a vast, diverse grouping of people. You got like South Africa in there, Italy, Denmark, Japan. Got quite a few viewers in Japan. Uh, let's see. Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Puerto Rico, Bulgaria, uh, Russia, Singapore, Albania, Malta. I mean, there, there's, this is, let me go to like, let's see who, all right. Let's see something. All right. So, no one, the only country in the entire world that no one has viewed me from is Uganda. Uh, let's see. All right, uh, Isle of Man, you need to pick it up. <laughs> if, you're, if you're the one person that watches me from Isle of Man, hi, thank you for watching. 
Um, but obviously, it looks like it's very dominated by the United States, obviously, because I'm American. It would make sense. But still, I'm very surprised. I have a lot of wide, like, spanning. Uh, let me see. Can I click on where was Japan? It was on the first page, wasn't it? Let's see if it separates it so I can see where people watch me from. Uh, nah, it doesn't. That's fine. I was just curious to see. I'd like to see the areas where people watch me. Um, let's see. what Demographics. Let's check demographics. Okay. All right. So, uh, wow. All right. So, 13 to 17 year olds are accounts for about um, like 12.8% of my viewership. That's that's kind of interesting. Like, I'm not meaning to sound stupid, but I feel like it maybe would have been higher than that. But that because there's a lot of younger people on YouTube, I'm kind of surprised by that. Um, ooh. Okay, 8 to 24 years, males account for 32% and females 6%. Uh, 25 to 34, 25% and 4.2%. 35 to 44, 6.4% and 1.8%. 45 to 54, 46 and 6.1 females. So in that margin, females watch me more than males. And then 55 to 64, 0.6 and 0.3. And then 65 plus year old people, 0.4% male, 0.1% female. That's kind of cool. I would have expected more of a clump of like one of these years, but wow, that's a diverse age group of people. That's that's actually pretty neat. Um, let's see viewer gender overall. 20% uh, female, 80% male. Okay, let's see video. Is this going to like divide it in video? Okay, so... Oh, okay. Wow. That's that's so strange. It's like a certain certain like videos of mine are only male and then there's a lot of females on some of the other ones. That's kind of strange. Let's play back locations. Oh, so this shows where people find my videos. Okay. 19% from the YouTube watch page, 83% from YouTube other, 28% uh, embedded in external websites and apps. 18% YouTube channel page. So it's like, is when it says embedded in external websites and apps and YouTube other, is that like shares? Sharing and like posting on Discord and stuff, I'm guessing. I guess that's what it means. Uh, devices. Is this going to tell me if people, um, okay, 43% watch me. Wow. What? That's confusing. Okay, 18% watch me on mobile phone, 16% on computer, 21% on tablet, 43% watch me on their TV. The majority of my watch time comes from the TV. That's interesting. 24% watch from a game console, and then 41% come from unknown. What would that be? What else is there? I'm trying to think. Because that kind of, would that be maybe laptop or I, I would think laptop would be combined with computer, but it might be laptop. That's kind of, that's weird. I'd like to know what that is. Um, let's see. What, what else can I look at? What else can I look at? Um, videos and playlists. Let's see what video has the most. Uh, the Walking Dead Season 9 Death Predictions is in 40 playlists. 16 have been removed. Uh, 180 Degrees, my song. Wow, that ha that's in some playlists. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see sharing. It's like who shared what. Um, okay, let's see. Wow. That's kind of neat. That's neat. Watch time report. Oh, watch time report. Yeah, we already checked that. Um, traffic sources. Okay. Ooh, okay. So... End screens, 0.9%. So that, that's actually recent. That's from, um, that's, if you go to like the end of my videos now, I'll show you guys something that shouldn't log me out of that. But if I was to log out and go to my channel, this is something that I'm not sure if I've shared with you guys. But if you go to like the end of my, hey, if you go to like the end of my videos, that, that one doesn't have my end screen. I think it should be this one. Yeah, okay, so if you go to, like, the end screen of my recent videos with this end screen, uh, my subscribe button as well as my previous video pops up. So that's kind of interesting. That's interesting. That I like that a lot. 
So it 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 counts like um, people have clicked on that. That's good. Uh, playlists for me not telling you guys about the end screen thing that that's cool that means people are watching it to the end uh, playlists uh, a lot of people are watching it from yes the playlists are actually working very well I'm happy with the results of the playlist um, that's actually neat uh, have I made that video yet that I wanted to make I wanted to make a video about playlists I don't think I have yet so that means that a lot of people are checking out the playlist that's awesome uh, playlist page so they're actually that means they're so this is when they once they click on it if they're going around more on the playlist videos meaning that if like let's say they go to playlist and let's say they want to look at like my album reviews and they click say uh, the contortionist language and they then watch like Elstrom's No Grave But The Sea that's what that counts towards playlist page just means people are going to my channel clicking playlists and choosing a video to watch from it uh, so that's cool. A lot of people are continuing the playlist once they already click. That's neat. Uh, director unknown. So does that mean just like clicking on the videos, I'm guessing? Other YouTube features. Um, algorithm? Is that what that is? Algorithm? Uh, maybe? Notifications. Whoa! 8.9% average percentage. That is a lot of watch time and views from just... Uh, notifications okay so this gives me a good time to plug myself if you like go to one of my videos and subscribe if you hit the bell uh, it will pop up right here for you this is the notification uh, screen I signed out so it's a, that's my notification screen so wow a lot of thank you for the notification squad that have hit the bell and are um, clicking on them that way channel pages channel pages is that like people sharing me or is that how, channel pages? Does that mean that like people are recommending me on their channel? It can't be that many people. I'm kind of confused by that. Does that just mean people go? I would understand if that said channel page, but that's channel pages. That's plural. So are they saying like that's their people are sharing me on their page? I'm not sure about that. External. So that's like other forms, I guess. Like discords. Like I, whenever, uh, I'm opening up my discord fairly soon. And you can uh, get updates for my videos and upcoming videos and stuff like that on there. Browse features. So this, I guess these are the, uh, what, wait, wait, wait. YouTube search and then browse features. So... I know YouTube search would be just typing up, like, I don't know, like, uh, Veil, let's see if mine comes up, Veil My Eclipse album review, uh, do, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see, right there it is, there's my review of Veil of My Eclipse, so it's, uh, I guess that's YouTube search, browse features, um, what would that be, if that's, it? some of these are really contradicting, because YouTube search, I'm guessing, that's what it is, just clicking on videos you find when you search, uh, browse features, I'm not sure. And then suggested videos. Wow. 24,000. So those are videos that are suggested in like the side when you're done with videos or are posted places. That's awesome. That's really neat. I like that a lot. Uh, can we check audience retention while we're here? All right. So um, I didn't want to give the email away. So it, it I had to sign back into let it be seen. I was wanting to check this one last thing. Audience retention, I guess. Uh, let's see. 19% uh, average percentage viewed. For YouTube, I'd say that's pretty good. Um, my Walking Dead Death Predictions has the most. Let's see. A lot of my album stuff does good, too. That's pretty neato. Uh, let me see uh, if there's anything else. Playback locations. Did I already do this? Yeah, yeah, I already did this. All right, so I think that's going to be it. Um, if you guys would maybe like to see like a part two eventually once uh, some time has passed to see how things have changed, feel free to let me know in the comment section below, and I will uh, read your comments and check them out. Like, comment, subscribe, as always. You can find my video on the end screen, and I'll talk to you guys next time. But until then, my name is Jay Morris, the review guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell. Oh, no. Say when I tell her that I won't go